This is the Oz Report for August 31st, 2024. And as always, let's start with uh, Plex and Plex adjacent items. And for that, I'm going to jump into the game client. And let's see here. We're going to turn the music off. There we go. So let's start with Plex. Plex is rising and rising and rising and it's not really falling down this week we didn't have any spectacular sales going on anywhere yes there is a um there is a paragon of duty pack sale out there but it's for skinner materials and you get a thousand plex with it i just don't think it's very great value i don't think a lot of people are going to buy it and that is uh, and that means that also, we're not going to see a lot of those 1,000 Plex packs hit the market. And so the, the, the actual price of Plex is probably not going to go down significantly. We would need a, uh, a pretty big sale for that to happen. On the other hand, there has been upward pr pressure on Plex by uh, the very good New Eden store sales that we had seen going on. And so, you know, there the plex price for now is stuck around 5.4 or 5.5 and that is very 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 high if we're looking at skill extractors those uh, are rising again as well as people are uh, buying them to to extract skills from their skill farms um mostly like the the big industrial industrial level demand for this does come from from skill farms so it is rising in price again expected to approach 550 600 again without there being another sale on it because that's that's the equilibrium price that it wants to be at and so high plex price um high skill extractor price coupled with uh, a dropping large skill injector price means that we are seeing negative skill farming returns on the 12 month Plex subscription level, which is the, the benchmark that we typically talk about on this stream. So if we're, if we're looking at that right now, if you are skill farming with a 12 month subscription paid via Plex and the 24 month multiple character training certificate, then you're actually losing 270 million per month per account. And that doesn't mean everyone that's skill farming is losing it. Most people are taking advantage of packs, but that does mean that this is slowly turning around. Remember, we were at you know a billion positive just um, maybe six months ago. So there's there certainly is has been a turnaround on the skill farming return. Now let's let's very very quickly talk about uh, my favorite items, the Master at Home Cerebral Accelerators. Uh, we have been successfully pushing this down, so you know this is this is going going down. It's still too high. It's still fifteen to twenty percent too expensive if you compare it to the better alternative, which uh, which is the the specialist boost and the genius boost cerebral accelerators in the New Eden store. So you know once again, don't buy these. The master at home cerebral accelerators are too expensive per skill point. Uh, buy Plex instead and then go to the New Eden store and buy those Genius Boosts. They're better and more convenient. Now, let's jump into the dashboard. And immediately we can see that looking at the items that are, that are trending up this week, half of the top 10 items over 5 billion ISK in trade volume are Dead Space modules. So... The GIST X-Type 500mm NWD is up 33%, and then we have some more items that are up 20% uh, or more. Uh, as, as, I was, as somebody explained in chat earlier, it has to do apparently with, with escalations, with 10 out of 10 escalations uh, not being as available as they were before. And so fewer escalations, meaning fewer uh, Dead Space module drops, especially the 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 x-type uh ones and so that is why we're seeing four of them in the top 10 uh, items here they're getting more expensive so apparently this was a good investment probably not so much anymore um depending on uh, whether these are going to rise again but i uh, i i really can't tell i was holding a few of these and i am definitely selling right now because a 20 and 30 percent uh, increase in these dead space modules that are trading and five billion ISK plus a day is 
uh, a pretty good opportunity to rake in some profit. Now, what else do we see on uh, on this end? We see burning burnt logic circuits. So you know, tier one salvage up thirty percent. Um, this is another uh, this is another salvage item. We've seen those in the in the last few weeks. La last few weeks, uh, a bunch of these specific T1 salvage items spiking. So people are obviously you know going to GDA, buying up a lot, and then leaving again. Uh, you can see last week it was contaminated Lawrence Fluent, which came down again this week. And this week it's just the burnt logic circuits. If you have these, good time to good time to sell. Now, um, precursor weapons. Uh, the we, we are seeing abyssal materials drop in price this week um, by about four to five percent. So that rally might be over but still precursor weapons are up 25 percent this week and that's because they are typically lagging a little bit so we are seeing a lot of um a lot of demand for them and we are seeing their their we have been seeing their components getting more or their their input materials getting more expensive in the last few weeks and so it's not surprising but um right now this is not going to last. So if you if you have a stockpile of heavy entropic disintegrator twos, the precursor weapons, or you are uh, building them, you need to uh, you need to sell them uh, right now because they're not. This price is not going to hold in the in the long run. Let's look at uh, whatever is is trending down. So um, mechanical parts. We saw them spiking last week. Now they're coming down twenty uh, percent. Uh, so it was fairly short-lived last week. Last week the increase was very much driven by by fuel block production. Uh, now they come back down twenty uh, percent. That's how quickly those those markets move, especially the 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 P, the PI when there's large producers coming in, buying up large chunks of the market, and then leaving again. Typically you see a very short term spike and then it comes comes back down so 20% changes here are are massive remember these are all items that are trading at 5 billion plus a day so you know if if there's a big spike here uh, you basically have to have sell orders in place to benefit from it or you're you're not going to because then if you're waiting till the for the price to spike and then you sell uh, typically, your 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 sell orders gets gets stuck because the spike has already happened. We're also seeing uh, more raw moon materials dropping. So hydrocarbons specifically down seventeen percent. That's an R four moon that might be directly metanox related. Uh, you know, quite quite significant because um, this is this is a very very common uh, common raw material in tier two production. And it coming down 17% is, is, is very, very significant from last week. High volume items. We talked about hypercores earlier. So hypercores seem to be stuck at around that, that 450 million range. Um, so just a, 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 quick re, a quick recap. We saw that massive hypercore sale uh, in, in March. Ever since then, it's been creeping back up, but it looks like 450 million. A lot of people are think, thinking like me, and at 450 million people are, 450,000, sorry, people are very happy to just, um, to just sell. And uh, yeah, right now with the Plex price of 5.5 uh, million, the equilibrium price is actually 5. Uh, 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 the equilibrium price is actually 550,000. So. There is room to go up. Uh, you know, it's just a question of how many people are actually selling right now. And it's it's enough to hold the price in place right now. But, you know, in the long run, I don't see a reason why this shouldn't be rising again. Because, you know, as I said, the Plex price is rising too. And these are directly tied to, uh, to Plex pricing. Let's look at what's, uh, what's in short supply. And... One item I want to mention there is 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 morphite. So, morphite right here, you can see prices are increase, increasing. So, you know, morphite used a lot in Marauders, for example. Um, that's you know that's that's something that that drives the the price of morphite uh, significantly out there. Uh, this isn't 
this isn't something that was uh, introduced, I think, in, in any anomal in, or any of the new anomalies in, in NullSec. So that might be one, one thing driving the price here. And so, you know, I don't know what's going to happen to this in the long run, uh, but ever since February, this has been rising quite significantly. Now, Marauders are very, very popular ships. They are, um, they are some of the biggest markets and most ISK spend uh, in daily trade volume of any any ships out there, just because they pack a punch for the you know one one billion one point five billion price tag, and so you know who knows I don't I I, I don't think this this will this would go on unche unchecked, uh, right? I think this is you know we. We have to see. We have to see some market change, some mining changes in Nullsec, because I've been saying for weeks. You know, Isogen is running. You know, it's more expensive than before Equinox, and that can't be. You know, that can't be working as intended. Morphite is getting more and more expensive. You know, this this can't be going on. So you know, there has to be something something happening, and so uh, you know. But as far as right now, interest very interesting to see that that Morphite is just continuing its uh, its 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 rise and then last thing i want to mention is things that are uh, that are also in short supply are are structures uh, so largest supply drop this month is fortisars and athenors dropped 60% in available quantity so it's not necessarily that fortisars and athenors have spiked in price but their availability has dropped quite significantly. So right now, there's still about half a trade day to one trade day left of these in the market. But uh, if these don't get replenished rather quickly, expect the prices of Athenors and, and Fortisars to, to, to spike. And this, this, can, this can also be a significant driver for additional, uh, additional PI. And so... If you're looking at the trade volume, it's not that more Athenors or Fortisars are being bought right now because the trade volume is about the same, but certainly the supply is drying up. So with the same volume and dried up supply, expect these to either spike or uh, some producers to, to start producing them again, which uh, could drive up uh, P4 um, planetary uh, commodities as well. All right. Now. That's the Oz report for today, August 31st, 2024. We're going to return to the regular stream and I will see you on the Oz report next week.